So product comparison time between two players heads or players visuals heads but with hollow construction so we've got the Tenere the P790 and Mizuno MP225 so both heads are quite a clean shape they're both geared around being the, the MP line and the P series are both you know players orientation so what does that mean what it really means is the head size is a quite a traditional head size so geared more towards a, a the blade style shape so what you've got is a fairly compact fairly kind of clean shape um, sort of heel to toe length but in particular what they've both products have done is got a fairly neat top line which i can rather awkwardly show you now so what they've done is got within a construction that actually packs a bit of performance, have kept the top line quite clean, not gone for an awful lot of offset. So keeping it visually in line with what a kind of inverted commas better player has always liked to see. But also between the two models has packed in quite a bit of performance. So um, if we're looking at, you start with the, the, with the Mizuno head, the 225. Um, what Mizuno have done with this head, they've still got their sort of forged face and, and, and neckline uh, using a, uh, a chromoloy material which is forged in Japan in their Hiroshima factory in Japan. Um, what they've done there is by by encasing going hollow body to it it allows them to, to the, the, the materials usually go a little bit thinner on the face 0.2 mil thinner on the face which helps a little bit of ball speed and in the two to seven irons they've got a 28 gram uh, and it graduates a little bit but on average 28 gram tungsten plug in the bottom. So moving center of gravity down, moving it back from the face, uh, and then the other materials allowing the frame to be nice and strong and, and thinning the face out, keeping ball speed high. Tailor-made, I'll pop that on the side there. Yeah, very, very similarly, again, it's, it's a hollow body construction that uh, you know, Tailor-made have done for a long time now. Um, what Tailor-made have got is you know, visibly, get that back, you can see in the bottom, They've got that slot, which again, have used for a number of years now. That's sort of a, a kind of three slot speed slot. Essentially what that does is it allows a little bit more flexion. And so keeps really keeps ball speed higher at the bottom of the face, which is where most players will miss hit it. Um, what they've also done is used a, a, an L shaped face. So the, the face plate goes all the way around and wraps into the bottom. So what this again permits is, is getting as much speed into the face as possible. And anytime you have to put a weld in here, there's a join at the bottom of the face uh, and that actually creates a slightly kind of slower spot. So if you can continue that round, it's what a lot of, a lot of brands are starting to do, you know, ping of using their wood faces. Um, it helps the lower half of the face stay a little bit hotter. Um, so again, thinner on the face, as all the companies are doing, I've also got tungsten waiting down the bottom of the head. Um, so actually quite a large amount of tungsten. I think they've got about, um, it's about 20% more tungsten, I think, in the sole than they used to have. Um, but they've also got an infill of um, what they call the speed foam air. So it's actually 69% lighter than the previous infill. Uh, again, that supports the face uh, and you know, tunes the head a little bit. So you know, both heads designed around keeping launch up a little bit, thinner face, deeper CG, more forgiveness within the, uh, this sort of frame of head, um, higher launch, higher ball speed. So considering they're basically such similar products, how do they perform? So what we're gonna do is um, get a few hits and test them. What you'll notice on the back of these is there's a little bit of lead tape. So what I've done to get as true a test as possible um, and to get as fair a test as possible to both products is they're both the same loft and lie and what that does is gets the weighting exactly the same. So the swing weight is identical. So what that means is that rather than doing uh, a test where one is one swing weight and the other is another, and one's actually slightly more suited to me, um, I'm inevitably gonna get better results out of them. They're both exactly the same. There's no kind of um, bias, for want of a better phrase, for one or the other. Uh, they're both gonna swing exactly the same. If you don't do that, if you don't test the same loft, if you don't test the same setup, then actually, you know, same shaft, what you're actually doing is skewing the results somewhat. So what we want to make sure we do is give you as true a set of, uh, set of results as possible uh, so that we can give as direct a comparison as possible. So I'm going to start with a P790. And this is um, in the same, the open shaft that I use in my gamer set. So uh, and one, actually one of the things that, you know, for, a, for products that produce this much performance from a ball speed point of view, a lot of players have said to us actually quite thin. The top line's actually quite small. So visually it's, they're definitely oriented towards someone who prefers that neater shape. So, how do they compare? So, let's... so one thing that's immediately unnoticeable at the tailor-made, I mean, one, you can really feel that kick off the face. Um, you know, looking at the data on that initial hit, 
uh, looking at the screen there, the, the smash factor on that shot, 1.46. Now for a six iron, I'd be looking at anything 1.4 and above is great. So lots of ball speed straight away. Um, you know, considering where the loft is, um, these are both at, um, got them both measuring 27 and a half degrees. Uh, the TaylorMade is standard is 26 and a half and the Mizuno is standard 27. Um, there's a reasonable bit of launch, you know, 16, 16 16.9 degree launch there, um, spin up four and a half. I'm gonna do, do one more of this just to get a couple of shots to get a bit of an average. Maybe that's hit well. So hit both of those well. So you can see here, you know, 0.1 of a degree more launch, a little bit less spin. So what is noticeable, if I would take my Gamer 6 iron is not a million miles off that in terms of loft, but construction as I play a blade in the majority of my irons, I would be aiming to carry it a good 10 to 13 yards less with my built set, with my Gamer set. So for me, what's happened there is that's gone, you know, a good five iron distance. So it's great from a distance point of view. Um, you know, ball speed off the face, very strong, um, but the spin is noticeably lower than you would get out of a single piece construction. And that's where you get the bit of flexion on the face, center gravity low, keeps, the, keeps it easy to strike above the CG line and that gear spin off. And that's where a lot of the heat and the distance comes from. So very, very strong performance out of the tailor made. It is noticeably that little bit of a clickier, clickier harder note. So you definitely get that sensation of a bit of pop and a bit of speed off of it. You know, very, very stable. Uh, hence, you know, over the last few years, the, the P790 has been a very strong performing club. Um, you're very popular and, and sold really well. Um, moving on to the Mizuno now. Again, I'm very, very similar visual, slightly different line into the crutch of the head into the neck here, but very, very similar. So one of the things that the Mizuno have done with this product is they've got underneath the, the nickel plating, they've got a copper layer. What the copper layer does, it, it dampens the sound and, and softens the feel down. It's something they used years back in, in one of their kind of you know, classic line of heads. They put a copper layer in and that, that really makes the head feel a little bit softer. So I'd expect a little bit of a different note off the head here. So again, well hit. It's a little bit less hard sounding. It's definitely a little bit less harsh as a note. Now, part of that is obviously the the materials used, you know, in the construction of the head, but with that copper layer, it noticeably dulls that down. Uh, I'll do another one here again to get, get a good couple of shots just to get the data in there. So like the tailor, hit, hit both of those well, so it's a pretty fair comparison. So there is quite a noticeable difference. I'm just gonna put this onto a, a table view so we can compare the data there. Um, with the with the two averages so um here both heads very very stable very forgiving you know, especially relative to head shape you know it certainly feels like there's a lot of lot of stability around the contact point there so you know you know, from a where they designed that definitely a very user-friendly head what is notable is that difference in launch and spin so you know both heads are designed to keep a little bit of flight on there but they get their slightly different ways so tailor-made have done a, you know, done a, a slightly, you can argue, better job of keeping launch angle up. The launch angle's you know, just under a degree higher, but they are a lower, it is a lower spin. Now, what that does mean is that means it's very strong from a distance point of view. You know, when we look at drivers, you know, high launch, low spin is really the key to, to total distance. Um, so you know, what we can see there is whilst on those particular swings, I swung the tail away just slightly quicker on average, um, but it, it also probably kept maybe a mile an hour more ball speed for those couple of shots. Couple that with the lower spin and the higher launch and what you get is another six yards extra through the air. So it's a very, very long head in that respect. What the Mizuna head's done is kept a little bit more spin. So the launch isn't quite so high, but we've got 300 revs more spin. So almost 10% more spin, you know, seven, eight percent more, which one of the things that certainly we've battled with as fitters over the last few years is keeping a bit more spin on the shot so everyone's gone down the distance route and, and you know it's, it's a great you know, it's a great story oh, look look how far this six iron goes but for some players who don't generate a lot of spin keeping spins really important to keeping the ball in the air and keeping keeping control when it hits the green so whilst it isn't quite as long actually the spin level is actually slightly more neutral so um 
there, there are definitely kind of plus points to both elements. You get someone who hits a, hits a bit of a kind of a, a higher cutty flight, then the tailor-made head's gonna bring that spin down a little bit more. However, if you get someone who's naturally a bit lower spin but wants some forgiveness, well, the Mizuno head offers a little bit more spin to help with that. But both heads very, very strong from a ball speed point of view, averaging a 143, 144 efficiency on the smash. Um, so you're very strong there. Um, but slightly different, slightly different things on the flight because of the chain, the differences in construction. So you know, the tail made with the slot in the bottom, a little bit more tungsten in the sole, a little bit more face flexion, just kicks the ball up a little bit more, but takes the spin off. The Mizuno head, softer feel, um, they're a very classic kind of Mizuno sound and feel to it, especially for a construction of that, uh, that ilk in terms of hollow body, but not quite as high launch, but a little bit more spin. So both great quality products, but depending on your natural ball flight and spin proportions, either the TaylorMade or the Mizuno, one's gonna give you a slight advantage depending on what characteristic is the most important. Great heads uh, and packaged in a shape that's very gonna be very appealing to someone with a traditional eye. Uh, certainly something out there for whatever kind of ball flight you're looking for.